So welcome to Vlogtober day four. I feel like this is like Groundhog Day or something. I'm not sick anymore, I promise. I was sick yesterday and sick this morning. Just it, like, it was like the flu, like everything was leaving my body. I don't know what's going on. But I'm feeling a whole lot better now. I just took a shower. It's around dinner time because I've just been like slothing around all day. Oh, I thought the dog was coming downstairs. Anyways, but I figured I would Oh, there he comes. There he comes. He's just hanging out. <laughs> um, but I figured I would talk to you guys while I am making some dinner because I'm starving because there's like nothing in the body. I've got my water, so I'm gonna drink some of that and I'm gonna make a potato because that sounds good. I'm going to make a sweet potato and I have one of these like microwave potato bags I picked up at the grocery store a while back. So I'll make this thing. Apparently you're supposed to wet it and then put it in the little bag and then microwave it. So, I don't know. I mean, it works pretty slick though. Anyway, I'm only supposed to do like four minutes at a time or something. So I just do four minutes, check it and see. That one's pretty thick, like pretty dense. So I might have to do it twice. I don't really know. So hopefully the audio isn't that bad with the noise from the microwave that's like legit right there. But um, let's catch up for today. So fun fact, at 2.56 a.m. Central Standard Time, my Instagram got hacked, which was interesting. So um, obviously I was sick. So I didn't actually check any social media until about six or so. And then I was like, why can't I log in? Like, this is so weird. And um, someone in Russia, apparently, uh, cause it was a Russian email. Uh, for some reason, Instagram let them change all of the information, like the username. So like favorite daughter Emily wasn't favorite daughter Emily anymore. It was a totally different name and let them change over the email account, which isn't my public email. It's like my private email account. I don't know. It's just very, very, it was very strange. So anyway, got that handled, but it took me till, well, I was kind of in and out of being sick. So it took me till about what noon, one, something like that to actually get it all handled, which it's fine now. Thankfully it'll stay fine. Um, but yeah, and then I went in there and then like they didn't do anything. Like they didn't, I don't know. I think, I don't know who did it, but it's like, there's like legit nothing scandalous in my DMs or anything. Like I am just not that person that writes nasty things or talks about people or like, I just, I don't do that because it's not worth my time to do that if I, I don't know, it just is strange. So a lot of times these hackers wanna go in there and like expose you for something and I'm like, expose me for what? Like planner stickers and random hauls and just like pictures of my dog, like woo, I don't know. So anyway, but it all got handled so that's good. Um, any other updates of what's going on? Probably not too much. Um, there's not a lot happening in my life right now, but in the same regard, I feel like I'm so busy and it's like completely overwhelming. And when I get overwhelmed, I get sick like this. It just, it's kind of crazy because I've got the new job, which now I've missed two days of work. But I mean, what do you do if you've got, if you got the flu or flu-like symptoms, like you don't go in. Like, I'm sorry, you just don't get anybody else sick. And uh, before I worked for a really, really small company where I probably could have mustered through it, but um, now I'm sharing office space with several people, one of which is very, very pregnant, and um, I ain't gonna do that. Like, I have to work very closely in teams with people, so that's just like not gonna fly. And then I've got all the work for my old job that I'm still currently working at. So I'm like still doing all the social media, managing the inbox and um, helping out the new gal, which I talked to quite a bit today, like via text message. So that's fine, but it's just a lot. And then the YouTube stuff, um, which is fitting because I'm wearing my YouTube shirt or pajamas tonight. Um, but yeah, it's just, oh, 
sorry. All right, just check the potato. It needs about another four minutes. Um, but yeah, what was I trying to say? Yeah, it's just like overwhelming. It's overwhelming, even though you guys watch my plan with me's, which I know are super boring right now because I don't have much going on besides I'm just like literally working all the time. I don't have, I feel like I don't have space for me anymore and that's like my own fault because I, I really like to work. But then when I put myself in this position, I can't do it all. So anyway, I'm gonna take a long, hard look at some things and uh, keep you guys informed. But um, but yeah, like it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. But I think with um, my potato, I'm gonna have a tomato, because tomato, potato, kind of rhymes, right? Uh, here we go. Plate. And I'm one of those people that just like loves to eat tomatoes, just like a tomato and a little bit of salt and I'm like good to go. And my favorite tomatoes are the vine on tomatoes because I feel like they ripen up really nicely at home and um, they just stay fresher longer I feel like. So, I don't know. And I just slice them and eat them. That's, that's the name of the game over here. I actually had a friend named Kim. Well, she's still my friend I guess. We just don't see each other every day like we used to because we used to work together. But um, she would eat a tomato, just like eat it like an apple. And I was always so confused. I'm like, what the heck are you doing, Kim? So every once in a while, she'll uh, send me a comment or whatever on Facebook being like, hey, by the way, I ate a tomato today. Kim style. I'm like, oh, thanks. So then I have that visual in my head. And I think she actually liked hers with sugar, if I remember right. Maybe not, can't remember. It's been so long since like Kim and I worked together. We actually used to work at a tuxedo company together, random fact, uh, back in all my retail days. All right, so I have all my tomatoes. <laughs> I take a little bit of my sea salt right here. And a grinder all up, just kinda get a little bit on every slice. And then I just eat it with a fork because I'm that weirdo. I'm gonna give the potato a few minutes because it's hot. But I have my little concoction here. And this is what I like to put on my sweet potato is, it's like a little concoction, as you can kind of see. I don't wanna waste any. Um, this is a, eh, a mixture. I don't know what the ratio is, it's just kinda like, whatever makes it look this color, I don't know. Um, it's stevia and then cinnamon. And I put that on my sweet potato with just a little bit of margarine. If I'm feeling it, sometimes I just do this, but I don't know, it's so good that I just can't not, you know what I'm saying? And separate plate because food can't touch and tomatoes are really, really juicy, so no thank you. So today, I am gonna use a little bit of margarine because there's only a little bit left in here. Why not? Get a little dollop. Doyle. I've got a puppy like right here because he loves sweet potatoes. But I never give him any of the sweet potato that actually has any of the like seasoning on it. So like the stevia or cinnamon because I don't know if that's good for dogs, it probably isn't. So I try to give him little bites that don't have that on there anymore, but he loves that stuff. So anyway, here is my sweet potato deliciousness, yum, yum, yums. So I'm gonna wait for that to cool off though, because that's really hot. But um, today, okay, so it's only like 6.30 right now, but I think this is gonna be it for the vlog. I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys, tell you what's going on or not going on in the case, um, and give you an update today. I got a lot of private messages um, from you guys asking if I had changed my profile name with Instagram and all that debacle. So um, I think I responded back to most everybody, um, but I didn't wanna like publicize it on Instagram because, hmm, satisfaction and all that. But anyway, I guess if they watch these videos, which I'm sure they don't, um, they'll know because I think I'm gonna title this hacked because 
that's actually what happened is I got hacked today. Um, and by the way, I've like never been hacked before, so that's just kind of very strange. So, but let's look at Doyle really quickly because you know, Doyle challenge and all. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? He knows the potato is like right over there, like up there. So he's into it. He can smell the smells. Are you smelling all the smells, bud? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's into the smells, but um, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be going to work and it'll be a Normal <laughs> day for me and I'll take you along on all of my Adventures during the vlogtober plus I need to edit Yesterday's vlog today and get that up for you guys before um, You know bedtime and all that good stuff because I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna edit and then I'm going back to bed. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little ch chitty chat vlog. And um, let's see, this is going to go up on Thursday, right? Yeah, because today's Wednesday, Thursday. If you guys want a laundry day Q&A, let me know in the comments below. And if you do have questions, just put them down below. Um, super informal. I might do a post on Facebook too or something like that. Um, if you guys seem to be into it, but it would be something when I would actually get home from work, which would be like late, like 5.30 or something like that. So anyways, uh, if you guys want to laundry a Q&A, let me know. And if you have questions, put them in the comments and I will get to them on Friday if I've got enough response. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.